Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Duns and Dragons. And we're going to talk about the Will Smith slap uh, in depth. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the reason why we're talking about the Will Smith, the Will Smith slap right now, right, is because of um, bo Bad Boys Ride or Die. I am on my way right now to see Bad Boys Ride or Die on IMAX, uh, and I am and I get to see that for free, for free, air quotes, on my Regal Pass. I can see as many movies as I want each month. I cannot suggest to you enough, um, uh, you should get a movie subscription. It's really important. Uh, and if you do, you join me, the Silver Remnant, the people who are saving the earth rather than letting it burn, right? Art is important. If you stand for art, go see movies, right? If you're watching movies when they plop out on streaming, you oppose art. Just understand that. It's important, right? We got we got to do what we can to save the world. And saving the world ain't about recycling or any kind of environmental nonsense. Saving the world is done through art. Saving the, done, the world is done through profit. Saving the world is done through capitalism. It ain't about electric vehicles and hummus. That ain't going to save nothing, right? I think we're all, we're all real clear on that now. That wasn't clear 20 years ago. But boy, are we clear on it now, right? But profit does save the earth, right? Let's do it, all right? Get a movie pass. All right, so Will Smith, um, he slapped Chris Rock directly in the face in front of the whole world. And it really changed America. And everything that changes America changes the world, right? That That's the flow, right? And frankly, a lot of stuff that happens in other countries really doesn't affect uh wheat man it's like a spectator sport for us like the worst things happen and we're like oh that looks terrible you know like it, it's i don't know it, it's very interesting it's very interesting okay so let's talk so let's talk about bad boys right so i have seen every i'm a huge fan of will smith i really i think he's an incredible talent right always has been right and actually i've grown up with him right I, you know I like Wild West. Like, I love that movie. People people talk trash on that movie. And I got no idea why, because that movie is epic. All right? Um, but, like, he, he has really delivered, like, through his entire career. Like, he started, like, he made banger music and then made banger movies and then made, uh, no, I guess he never, he never stooped to television, right? Uh, not after he escaped television. He never, he never really went back, right? Um, but it was very interesting. So I'm a huge fan of Will Smith. And um, and that means I've seen every boys, uh, every bad boys movie in the theater opening night. Right. And I, I'm very fortunate. I've been able, I'm able to say that for a lot of series. And so but check this out. So you got bad boys, bad boys Two, bad boys for life. No, dude. Clearly, you should have saved that for bad boys Four. should have been bad boys. F O R F O U R life. Like they were not having enough, uh, you know, they clearly didn't have confidence that Bad Boy for Life would be that Bad Boys would get a fourth installment, which is kind of silly, right? So Bad Boys for Life is actually Bad Boys 3, and Bad Boys Ride or Die, right, is um, Bad Boys 4, right? So I'm going to see Bad Boys 4. Martin Lawrence, uh, Will Smith, right and uh and but seeing bad boys 4 here's the big deal right so i haven't seen it yet right just, just want to keep that in you know the, want to make sure, sure that's clear all right so check this out right this gets really interesting so um bad boys 4 uh is is a huge oh so so will smith slaps chris rock in the face this was a this was a huge global this is a global event it like really was incredibly important like uh, matt it was a really 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 big deal right and so i just want to talk this through so what happened um with uh with the will smith slap is a really big deal because like before in america there was always kind of this question like we're always like, we think rich people get away with a lot. We actually think that they might be able to get away with murder. And there were times where like, you like, yeah, that's pretty much what's happening. And it was disheartening. It was really kind of like, 
disheartening in America to see that justice wasn't for everybody, right? Well, the Mil the Will Sl Smith slap, it just changed everything. It was like, it's not, there's, there's not, a, it's not just wealthy people. There's an, an additional layer of hierarchy, right? And in America, justice is bracketed, right? And so if you're wealthy and actually, and the wealthy, we used to think they were on top. They weren't. It's celebrities who are on top, right? What celebrity is way more powerful than wealth. There were a lot of clues that this was true. Elon Musk, right, billionaire, went on Saturday Night Live because he didn't want to just be a person with money. People with money are not that powerful anymore, right? People with celebrity, and that's what the Will Smith, Smith slap was. He proved to the world that with American celebrity, you can assault a person in front of the whole world and then literally party with people who should be on their phone calling 911, right? And so it showed that there were, there were here's, here's the layers, American celebrity, American wealthy, American unwealth, right? If you're unwealth, you at the bottom, the full weight of the law um, applies to you. If you're wealthy, the weight of the law may apply to you after your lawyers get a chance to free that weight from you. And if you're American celebrity, nothing can touch you. You can do whatever you wish, right? And it was it was a huge moment. And it also, one thing that's very interesting is it also said, while America respects wealth, celebrity and wealth at an incredible level, it also showed ironically that a lot of the issues we used to have with um, you know, people of different, uh, people being different colors and hatred between people of different colors have evaporated. And that if you had, so if you have celebrity or wealth, doesn't matter what color your skin is. And that is not true in other nations. So weirdly, the Will Smith slap, you know, was a very sad wake up call to everyone that, um, that there were this hierarchy of, of freedom from, freedom from the law, right? Which is, no one should be free from the law, but it's very clear to Americans now, the law is absolutely applied to different people in different ways. And I think we would like that to change, but it's also extremely clear that there's no possibility for that to change with the next election, because you sure as heck know, uh, President Donald Trump is not gonna treat people fairly. I mean, we, we already saw four years of it. He was absolutely abominable, right? And we also know that President Biden is going to make gestures, but he's not going to actually change anything, right? So it's really, it's really sad for us to realize this truth, right? And then it's even more sad to know that we have no escape from it. And it's going to be our reality going forward. That's really, that's a bad, bad situation. So here is the D&D &D part, okay? Will Smith is now being allowed back in by Hollywood. They've said, hey, you served your time, right? Um, and which is, air quotes, time. You didn't actually serve any time at all. There was no punishment went for, for you for, what, for whatever. This would have been assault, you know, for if a, a, an American unwell person did this, they would have been in jail before they, they would have been in jail before the, ga the first gasp was finished, right? But as an American celebrity, there was absolutely zero repercussions for, um, for, for Will Smith, right? So he's being allowed back in by Hollywood, okay? So this brings up the question, how do we as dungeon masters and how do we as dragon masters allow people to return to the table um, if their behavior has been inappropriate, right? Now, first of all, let's make something real clear. If anyone at your D and D table ever assaults anyone at the table, they should never be allowed back. And you're like, "Whoa, wait, wait, a second, Scott, aren't you going to see this movie?" Well, dungeon masters are have a, have a higher obligation to dungeon masters have a higher obligation to good than Hollywood does. Hollywood has zero obligations to good. They don't believe in a sacred god, right? And they don't, um, and they don't have a secular compass like the good, evil, neutral alignment chart that we do. 
So basically, most I so you know that's pretty wild. Dungeon Masters and Dragon Masters understand the difference between good and evil because Gary Gygax taught it to us, right? And so unlike and so Hollywood, they can believe whatever nonsense they want, and they are completely godless people. Um, they make banger art. Let's not forget that part. Um, but we we have a duty to the legacy of Gary Gygax to do the right thing, right? And if anyone at your table ever like smacks somebody else at the table, it's shocking that I have to say this, but it we need it to be clear, right? Hollywood is like, yeah, you assaulted that person. We don't care. Where's the next film, right? And, and here we are. Here's the next film, right? And then, so, but we have a duty to Gary's legacy to do the good thing, right? Not the evil thing. Because he showed us the difference. He's like, these are evil actions, right? Like vampires, they suck human blood. That's evil, right? Good. Here's a paladin. Uh, he worships his God and he protects people. That's good. We know the difference between good and evil. Hollywood, no one in Hollywood knows the difference between good and evil, right? So we have a, a higher duty, right? So if anyone ever assaults anybody at your table, when should they be allowed back? Never, ever, ever under any circumstance, right? Okay, now let's say that what they did was was not a physical assault, right? What if they said something mean? What if they shocked somebody? What if they startled somebody? What if they were, what if they ignored somebody for an entire game and talked over them? What if they insulted them in a deeply personal way, right? Should they be allowed back, right? Is there a Will Smith slap or type or turn in Duns and Dragons for non-physical assault offenses? I think the answer is yes, right? And I do think the the Will Smith the Will Smith slap actually um, is the right timing. It's uh you you should not bring them back before a year, uh, but you should do it before three years is up, and you should give them a chance. Now the Will Smith slap actually shows us some really good things. What should happen before somebody should is brought back? Well, just like Will Smith, they should apologize. Will Smith did apologize. They should also um, grow, right? And Will Smith has said, you know, I realized what I did was wrong. And then since then, he has been very um, open and honest. Uh, he explained that a lot of the pressures uh, that he was actually, oh, that's interesting. You know what? I, I skipped one there. He has been attempting to grow. If you watch his social media, he's trying to grow as a person. Now, the reality, what's kind of strange there is he got that one free, free because he's been trying to grow for a long time and he has been very good at this. He has done an excellent job of growing um, and doing a good job of growing as a person. Here's the other one, understanding why it happened, right? Um, and that actually comes on the part of everybody else at the table. Sometimes if somebody does something terrible, you're like, you're a terrible person, right? And I think a lot of people thought that about Will Smith. They're like, oh, this is a terrible action. You're a terrible person, right? But more we learned, we realized there was a very good reason for why he had done. There, Not a good reason. There was a reason why he did what he did. And one of those reasons, the ultimate responsibility lies with him. But when people learned about, actually, what's really interesting is Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith actually explained why that, why the slap happened. One of the one of the major reasons why the slap happened, and was and that was that her and Will were living a lie. They did not polyam. They were lying to the whole world that polyamory could work. Polyamory doesn't work. It fails every single time. Margaret Cho just said the same thing on Neil Brennan's show. And um, and Jada Pinkett Smith is like, you guys have been coming to the you know the table. You've been hearing my podcast. Everything you were hearing was really a lie. I lied to your face for years, right? I was telling you we had a happy marriage. I was telling you that polyamory could work. I was telling you that um, two people you know could fuse a marriage based around the principles I've been saying. All of that was a lie. The two of us had not loved one another for a long, long time, and I had embarrassed him by being with other men long time before and not in a way that he was comfortable with not in a way that was open but in a way that was incredibly jagged right and you know and you could see that he was really really hurt by jada pinkett smith 
insisting that they continue to lie so that her podcast would be safe, right? Like, you know, and, and it was, it was, and then when you go back and you look at all this and this huge ball of lies that Jada Pinkett Smith crafted and then asked him to sign on to and continue to fool people with, it's, you know, you're like, hmm, I kind of get it. You know, like I kind of get what put you in that space. What you did was not right. I don't get that you did this thing. I get what drove you to be, to put yourself in a position where you would make this terrible choice, right? And all of us should be above that. All of us should not make a terrible choice like that. So how do we bring back people who have done this at our D&D &D table? Same Will Smith uh, slap method. 18 months is perfect. Don't bring them, I would bring, don't bring them back a day before 18 months. Don't take longer than three years to extend a uh, an invitation if you have seen that they are growing as a person and if you do find that there were very extenuating circumstances that they had been really harmed by another person for a very long time. That's just my humble opinion. I think that Jada Smith, Pinkett Smith asking Will Smith to lie to every American that polyamory would, would work, right? When it clearly didn't, when their love had been gone for probably over a decade and at least for seven years, they, they had been pretending to have a functional marriage. And it and this was like not no stakes, right? This is Jada Pinkett Smith every day going, hey, do what I do and it's gonna work for you, knowing it didn't work for her and knowing that she had every resource in the world to make it work and it still wasn't. So she was just, like putting forward a big pack of lies. That's that's bad. It was a bad situation. That, in my opinion, ironically, the Wilson slap puts down a pretty good pattern for how to restore a Dungeons and Dragons table. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion, what's important. So when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking and subscribing and have a fetch millennium.